What are the requirements for working as a truck dispatcher in Canada? I've heard a lot of people saying that they cannot find a job as a truck dispatcher in Canada because they do not have any work experience and no company will hire them if they do not have minimum six months to one year's experience as a truck dispatcher. Today, I will share some tips with you on how you can find a job as a truck dispatcher, even if you do not have any work experience as a truck dispatcher. So let's get started. Now, the first thing is to change your mindset. First of all, you need to convince yourself that you can get a job as a truck dispatcher without any work experience before you can think of convincing anybody else. Having a positive mindset is very important because there are many trucking companies who are willing to hire people with no work experience as a truck dispatcher and are willing to train as well. Next thing is to review your resume. Your resume typically should not be more than two pages long. You should be basically focusing on highlighting your achievements in your resume rather than just mentioning the job duties. Even if you have experience in, let's say, customer service, sales, or any other similar work experience you have, you should mention that experience in your resume as there are many transferable skills. You should avoid any spelling mistakes, grammatical errors, your formatting should be proper for the resume. If your resume is presentable, your chances of shortlisting increase. Now, how do you apply for jobs? Now, most people start by applying on job boards like Indeed. Now, many times you will notice you don't get a reply from the recruiters when you apply on job boards. So if you are a job seeker with no experience in truck dispatching, you will have to try many different things to increase your chances of getting a job. Networking will also help you in speeding up your job search process. LinkedIn can be a great tool as well, where you can connect and network with a lot of different companies and recruiters. You can even contact the trucking companies in your area directly. You can just go to Google Maps and search for the trucking companies in your area and you can actually directly contact them for your job search. Or you can even print multiple copies of your resume and walk into the offices of different trucking companies and drop your resume. Now, this approach is difficult and can have a lot of rejections, but this approach can be very effective. You can even contact different staffing agencies in your area. The only thing you have to ensure is you should regularly follow up with these staffing agencies as well. You can even visit different job fairs or networking events in your area. Ask around for help. Do not hesitate to let people in your network know that you're looking for a job and ask for references. You can also apply for jobs online. However, you need to ensure you apply on a daily basis because earlier you apply for a job, the more are your chances of success. You can also set job alerts on many job boards so that whenever new jobs are posted, you will start getting emails about those uh, jobs on your email ID and you can directly apply uh, for those jobs. Also, if you apply for a job on Indeed or any other job board, if you don't get a reply, you can actually visit the company's website or you can try to contact the recruiter directly or you can try to connect them through LinkedIn. So these strategies do increase your chances of success as well. Volunteering can also be a great option if you're looking to get some work experience. You can actually offer to volunteer in trucking companies to get started. Now, a lot of people ask us if they should be enrolling into any truck dispatcher training course or they should get any certification to work as a truck dispatcher. Now, for a truck dispatcher, there is no licensing requirement in Canada. So you're not required to take any course or, or do any certification. Now, these truck dispatching courses can definitely help, uh, but you have to use your money wisely, especially if you are a new immigrant who just landed in Canada or you're an international student, every dollar counts. So you have to be very clear before you think of investing any money in a training course. Now, taking training for truck dispatching from a good school can definitely help in many ways. However, it is not a guarantee that you will get a job. If you're not willing to put an effort after the training, you will not be able to find a job even after taking a course. So you have to understand that. But yes, if you take a course uh, from a good school, it does increase your chances of getting shortlisted. It will give you more confidence when you go for job interviews. You can actually talk the same language uh, that your recruiter is talking. Also tomorrow, if you get a job in a company after taking your course, uh, you will have very short learning curve in that company because many of these courses actually prepare you for the real world scenarios. At Trucadium, we also offer a very practical truck dispatcher and freight broker training course, which can help you in your job search. It can also help you build a long-term career or business in the trucking industry in Canada or USA. I hope you liked this video. Please like and share and subscribe to our YouTube channel 
if you want to watch more such informational videos about the trucking industry in Canada and the US. Take care. See you next time.